Let's do a little hip sequence. You're going to sit nice and tall. Sit bones pulled back in space. And if your knees feel like they're here and your spine is really rounded forward or backward, your lumbar spine, sit on a sit on a blanket or a pillow so you can access your pelvis as, as deeply um, as possible. And we're starting to drop the pelvis and the kidneys backward. Your sits bones are reaching forward. That's going to induce a little rounding into your lumbar spine. And then to come back up, we're pulling the sits bones behind, and that's going to lift me up. I'm going to let the pelvis roll back. Imagine it's a bowl of soup without a firm ground, so your pelvis is easily rocking forward and backward on that very round um, base. And you're rolling back. And the whole spine gets informed by that rolling back. And then as I start to pull my sits bones behind me, the spine ripples up to get informed in the other direction. And let's stay here for a moment. And we're just going to pull the sits bones back and pull the knees apart. So pulling the sits bones back should deeply engage your glute muscles, external rotators, eccentric hip, concentric hip, so you're flexing. It's everything is, is part of this. And then I'm starting to pull my knees slightly apart. And with that notion of pulling the knees apart, the engagement within your pelvis and in your legs and probably also in your core should intensify. Knees are pulling apart and pulling apart and pulling apart. And just to sit like this should start to get a little dicier, <laughs> just get a little harder to maintain. So maybe you've lost the height, you've lost the sits bones. See if you can find them again. You're going to pull the sits bones behind you. You're going to pull the knees apart. You can even pull your feet into the ground. This is also, if, if this is dicey for your foot, Flex the foot a little bit for your ankle here, um, and it's, it's, it's going to ease up a little bit. It also helps to keep the knees quite stabilized if you flex your feet here. And then just see, can I keep pulling those sits bones back, and can I yield my diaphragm slightly back in space? So softening and actually dropping the ribs slightly. <sighs> it's almost a feeling of release of the ribs and yes it'll feel weird it's going to round the shoulders probably forward and maybe your head is coming forward a little bit too but can you just keep those sits bones pulling back and the diaphragm sliding back as well that's not very easy to do because a lot of times what happens we're hinging here on the rib cage to help us sit upright so for now, sits bones back, kidneys back, diaphragm back. And then we could talk about sending the shoulder blades a little bit together in the back and then maybe lifting the chin a little bit up. It's all micro adjusting, micro moves, and macro picture of the whole body. And just breathing here. Are the shoulders relaxed? Are my glutes still working? Are my knees still pulling apart? Are my is my diaphragm and kidneys, are they still floating back in space? My ribs are soft. Can I pull the shoulders a tiny bit together? And pulling the skull a tiny bit back. And that in itself is quite the workout. Let me know how it went. <laughs>